That was awesome. All right. Everybody else wishing me a happy birthday. That's awesome too. Thank you so much for the birthday wishes. We're going to make it a great one. take long to pull a ticket from there because we just saw somebody in front of us pulling the ticket but Struggling. simple as that so now we find the parking spot oh mm. boy and there's the choo choo what a beautiful day the weather's not cool. bad either what's our weather fa forecast uh it's 53 degrees and sunny there's a very light wind out of the west take a look at the sightseer very cool open air and then if you want to go inside, you can go up here. Very cool. Let's see where we're going. So this is the New Hope Railroad. Mm -hmm. And we are in what town? This is New Hope. This is New Hope. And we're going up to what city? La Hoska. La Not that far. We just drove in, in from there. Yeah, we did. But it's a, a one-hour train excursion. And if you come at 2 o'clock, you can meet Santa Claus. Oh, geez. We don't need to meet Santa. Hey, I know him. You look like him. I honestly don't think I've ever been to a real train station like this. This is pretty cool. Inside those doors, there's a very nice gift shop where we've just acquired some goods. But this is for the one o'clock train that we're getting on and we're ready for it. Where are we at? We are on the train that leaves at 1 p.m. sharp, but you have to wait for the Santa Claus train to pull in so we can pull out. Santa Claus, huh? Got any Santa Claus jokes? Nah. <laughs> you make a great Santa Claus, honey. They decorated it very pretty, though. Look at all the pretty lights and the wreaths and the bows. Very pretty. I don't know if I've ever been on a real train with you like this other than the one in New Hampshire. Mm. We were on 38 trains in Japan last month, so there's that. Those are subways. That's different. <laughs> Talking about a train like this, silly boy. We were on the um, Lincoln, New Hampshire diner. That's all. Mm. That was cool. Mm. All right. Here we go. Santa, Santa, Santa. Santa, Santa, Santa. I don't see him. Do you? They lie. Oh, they got Christmas decorations on them. There's no Santa Claus on there. There he is! Oh, oh, oh. Woo! Is he Mrs. Claus? No, I saw Santa. Mm -hmm. We're on the train, we're on the train, we're on the train, we're on the train. Train, 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 train. <laughs> so cute. What a cute little baby. So cute. Train this afternoon. We're going about four and a half miles. <laughs> I did. To Alaska, Pennsylvania, four and a half miles. Coming back, a total of nine miles today. Come on, people, wave. Bye. Bye. For about five to seven minutes, so that the locomotive can go from the south end to the north end, so it can close. What a pretty little town! I did previously mention some of our safety uh, recommendations. <laughs> so do ask that you please do not walk. Uh, in the aisles or between the cars while the train is in motion. Look at how pretty. This is a nice oh train. man. We do have rescue facilities on board our train. I think we were here the last time, but we didn't get to ride the train, did we? Oh, familiar, but we didn't get to ride the train. Right. <laughs> Number 1127, the other rescue is in the 
parlor car number 1430. Remember these uh, restrooms were all built about the same time that the cars were built, which was in the early 1900s. So they're pretty basic. No running water, for instance. Oh, that was cool. The guy was waving. I missed him. Now, if you look over to the right hand side of our train, you're going to see a creek, a small creek. This is the Aquaton Creek. This is the call. We sat on the wrong Ingham. side. I can sit over here. After James Ingham, who was one of the earliest okay. settlers, the of the Reader family was probably Eastman Reader. He was also Pennsylvania's very first food. Very and pretty house. So he was a politician advocating in favor of the dairy industry. He was also a stockholder in the uh, Reading Railroad that was building the tracks between Philadelphia and New Hope. So he assumed that because he was so important that the Reading Railroad would build a train depot for him here at Reader Road. Well, they didn't do that. Um, they didn't think there was enough uh, business for passengers, not enough passengers would get on here at Reader Road, but they did build a small shelter and they put a flag and a lantern in the shelter. So if a passenger wanted to get on the train at Reader Road, they would wave the flag at an approaching passenger train. The uh, engineer in the locomotive would blow the whistle and stop the train for them and they could get on. This was called a flag stop or a whistle stop. There they are. Wait, give them a wave, everybody. Yes. All of you in the coach car. The more likely you wave at them, they'll wave back at you, and that's a good sign. That means they're more likely to fill up to us, couple to our car, and pull us back. There goes your you. ride, Glenn. Now what? You're stuck here. This is the coach we made for this. Followed by our car attendant, Dan. Very pretty. It was clean. Very pretty. Look at that. My house too. If I were alive. Wow, that's sweet. We have one. We're now coming to the railroad crossing, and we got. Um, there they are. Wait, give them a wave, everybody. All of you in coach car. The more likely you wave at them, they'll wave back at you, and that's a good sign. That means they're more likely to fill up to us, couple to our car, and pull us back. There goes your ride, Glenn. Now what? You're stuck here. Are you enjoying birthday libation so far? Excellent birthday today. Big five eight. Big five eight. <laughs> Soft five eight. Soft five eight. <laughs> You're too silly. Where are you now? <laughs> Where are we going? Well, we got off of the train. We're going to see if we can find a frosty beverage. Oh? Mm -hmm. Do you have a place in mind? Well, there is a place down here that said they had a deck overlooking the river. Ooh! All right. What a pretty day. Pretty little town. Reminds me of Jim Thorpe. Yeah. But it's got more of a. What's the other little town we've been to? Um, like a Philadelphia bar. Yeah, that's it. What a beautiful day. Where's all the wine? What the heck? We're inside Mike's Irish Pub. The birthday libations have begun. He's got his Pinot Grigio. And look at that, any pasta. Yeah, olives. Tomatoes, olives. Peppers. Peppers. Onion. Some Parmesan. Some black pepper. That looks really good. And they have a great, they have a great bar menu too. I'll show you. If you can see it. But not a bad bar menu. The lighting was really bad in here, folks. But yeah, they have a good bar menu. They got a good drink menu. Very quaint. I wouldn't want to be in here on St. Patty's Day, though. Yeah? All right. I think that was pretty cool. Real neat little stop in yeah. downtown New Hope. Yeah. Mike's Sports Pub. Uh, Michael Kelly Sports Michael Pub. Kelly's Irish Sports <laughs> Pub. That's it. That was great. Saw these two people drinking some Irish coffee next to us. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. If so I could have only man. had that, minus the alcohol, I would be all over it. Irish coffee. Irish coffee. Mm -hmm. All right. So now, let's see how much it takes to get out of here parking-wise. What? Oh, All right. My God. How much? Thirty-two dollars. Thirty-two dollars to park here at the railroad. For two hours and twenty-two minutes. That's ridiculous. That is a ripoff. Major ripoff. Major ripoff. Thirty-two dollars. 
Yeah, folks, if you ever come here to New Hope and want to ride the train. Park somewhere else. Yeah, do not park in this parking lot. <laughs> $32. That's a joke. I told you it was going to be a million dollars. Exactly. What a nice time. Beautiful blue sky day today. I love some of the pictures that we got. I enjoyed the whole day other than the $32 in the parking lot. That was uh, such a rip up. I'm so mad about that. That was less than what, that was more than what we ate for lunch. Yeah. It's $22. For two people. It's $22 for lunch, $32 to park. What a racket. <laughs> we hope you guys enjoyed this quick episode today. Subscribe, like, comment down below. Let live us know what you thought. Yeah, live and learn. Let us know what you thought. What's your favorite thing to do here when you come to New Hope and where do you like to eat? The next episode you guys will be seeing, we're going to South America for 11 days. Ecuador, Amazon, and Peru. Get ready, South America. Here come the Murphys. Bye, everyone.